What's up guys, it's Eggy, and welcome back to Redemption. And real quick, the first two new players to message me in-game are gonna grab themselves a free $100 diamond box. Redemption is loads of fun, content-packed, and peaks at well over 300 online every single day. As always, link down below, but of course... Real quick, for a limited time, if you guys do want to come check out Redemption, after creating your account, speak to the starter guide. He will ask you, where did you find the server? Click YouTuber and then type Eggy for a free $100 starter pack, which includes a free BFG 9000, full dream range, a blood necklace eye, and a helicopter pet. This is absolutely insane. For free. Don't forget guys, but of course, real quick before the video once again, Redemption sponsored another video on my channel and hooked you guys up with a huge giveaway. So, three lucky commenters today are each gonna walk away with a free YouTube box. As you guys saw in yesterday's video, these are absolutely insane, so be sure to enter, and of course, if you want a chance to do so, make sure to like the video, comment to Redemption IGN down below, and of course, subscribe to the channel. As always though guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's video, and let's get into it. The Queen Black Dragon has been added. Possibly one of my favorite RuneScape 3 bosses has landed on my favorite RuneScape private server. I like it. Like I said on last update video, I do plan on doing a full QBD guide for you guys. So without wasting any more time, let's jump into it. Real quick, as always linked down below, but I gotta skim through it real quick. Queen Black Dragon, the beast, has arrived and is ready to challenge all players that dare enter her lair. There are two different modes you can fight this boss, normal for 150 mil total HP and a 300k damage cap, or challenge mode for 850 mil total HP with uncapped damage, increased drop rates, and increased loots. But like 6 times the amount of HP, choose wisely. As we know, there are 4 phases to QBD, so phase 1, QBD will only use her ranged and melee attack and then spawn the occasional single firewall. After draining her health bar, use the correct artifact at the end to move to the next. Phase 2, QBD will use all of her previous attacks, along with an occasional summoning of one tortured soul, firewalls now come in groups of two when she uses them, and then like last time, once she's drained down, click the artifact and move on. And then Phase 3, the QBD can now temporarily either harden her carapace or enter a crystalline form. Two souls will appear every time she summons souls, firewalls will appear in groups of three, along with that, she's now able to siphon the souls to heal herself, if they linger in the field for too long. Smack the next artifact and move on. Phase 4, again, all attacks from the previous stage remain available, and now Time Stop and Extreme Dragon Breath are now potential attacks. The soul spawns will come in fours, but watch out for the Time Stop and Dragon Breath. It will freeze you in time for a few seconds and then melt you for a ton of damage. Once you're done phase 4, smack the final artifact and you're onto the loot. Normal mode drop table real quick, 10 to 25 mil on the always, 150 for the commons, a bit of goodies, Uncommons 1 in 200 for every piece of dream, 1 in 500, potion of aggression, perfect enchant zone, up to 250 mil, box of testes, some potions here and there, the emperor's ring, kinda big, but the bangers, ultra rares are 1 in 2500 on normal mode for the draconic charge, melee, mage, and range, the brand new hellfire offhand, 5 bill cash, and the emperor's necklace. Not bad. But the challenge mode is even better. Always 40 mil, commons are still 1 in 50 with a few more boxes, uncommons are now 1 in 150, rares are now 1 in 375, and ultra rares are 1 in 1200 now. If you guys don't remember, use a corresponding charge on Slayer Master Boots to create the new best in slot boots in the game, Draconic Melee, Draconic Range, or Draconic Mage. As well, I believe, don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure the Hellfire offhand has built-in anti-fire with some nasty stats as well. So by no means will this boss be easy, but that's why I'm here, to help you out. One thing though, you will need anti-fire potions for this fight. They are sold in the POS for a decent bit of cash, so bear in mind, trade up some herb lore and make a ton of cash as well. 50 mil each, bro. So, as expected, gear up in your absolute best in sock gear setup. Bear in mind, with the normal mode having 150 million HP, this might be a challenge for new players. Anti-fires are pretty much required as expected, it's a dragon. You can get yourself the anti-fire shield, or maybe, possibly, I don't know, somebody comment down below the hellfire shield. In the bosses, queen black dragon, that is so nice to see. The draconic charges, the hellfire offhand, some coins, and the emperor set. Jumping into it. For the sake of the video, we already be jumping into normal mode. Anti-fire up. 
double damage card and start smacking it. Remember, stay a little bit farther away from it on the first phase because she can melee you here. DPS are down while you're waiting. Take a beautiful look at the skyboxes. Shout out Willy for that. And for this, as you see one little path, you will not take damage. But if you stand in the fire, you'll take about a 50 hit. Not that big of a deal because you are just going to soul split right back up. But bear in mind on the later phases, it can stack pretty hard. Here, I'll do an example. Whack. A 30. Okay. It is highly recommended to stand in the little gap that it does shoot through. And I'm going to test something. I don't know if that worked. I know on RuneScape 3, you can run through at the exact time. And it won't damage you. Either way, first artifact is the one in the middle, keep damage order down again. And on to phase 2. Remember, the tortured souls can now start to spawn here, and the fires will come in groups of two. She hardened her carapace here, which is kind of a rip, kind of hoping for a crystalline, remember. When she hardens up, you do less damage with range, when she crystallines, you do more damage with range. Deeps are down, watch out for the fire. Um, can I make this in time? Click it, click it, click it! Fuck me. I might take some damage, so I'm gonna rainbow fish. Anyways, activate the artifact and deeps are down some more. As you saw there, if you don't activate the artifact in time, she will start to spit out some worms at you. Anyways, on to the third. Continue whacking her down, it's a pretty simple fight, honestly. What have we got? Three waves of fire here. I'm gonna move here, easy. I'm gonna move over here, easy. And I might not make that one. Whacked me for a bit, but I don't care, I'm gonna soul split it. Again though, make sure you do kill the souls the second they spawn. Because in the later phases, she will start to siphon them to heal herself. Try this again. Nope. Dude, it's gotta be possible. Damn it. Maybe it's not. Next artifact is on this side, so just right over here. And like, you guys see how long this is taking with my insane gear? This is kind of a hard fight. I might die on this one, so I'm gonna rainbow. It's not really hard mechanically, it's more so the fact the HP is pretty big. As you guys are seeing though, even when I'm getting comboed out, I kinda just ignore the mechanics. Since I'm soul splitting, I have AoE weapons, I really don't have to worry. I kinda just insta-heal right back up. Bear in mind, as we're seeing at the top of the screen, I got 5 seconds left on my anti-fire. You do not want to let this run out. That was the extremely hot dragon breath, by the way. The farther you are away from that, the less damage you'll take, but if you don't have anti-fire, and you're standing in the very middle, It'll pretty much just fucking one-shot you. And she hardens her carapace again, that's a rip. Gonna make it a little bit longer of a fight. I'm gonna ignore. Maybe that was a bad idea? Oh my days. Oh my days. I'm... Easy, didn't have to eat a single time, dude. Uh... Yeah, we're good, we're good, we're still in it. Soul split OP. There we are, four spawns, remember, kill these instantly because she will heal off of them. Hey, there we go, crystalline form. Now I do more damage here, watch this. And now she's getting legitimately melted down. That was actually a really quick crystal phase. Feels bad. Anyways, last is done. Activate the final artifact. And you've killed your first QBD. Down the staircase, into the lair, and click on the Dragon King coffer. I got 15 mil. Worth. QBD is honestly not that hard of a boss. By no means, if you guys do have a decent gear setup, QBD should honestly be a cakewalk. In saying that, I am passively working towards a nice little loot from. I'm planning on about 250 of them. Bear in mind they take like 5 minutes every single kill, and I do plan on doing a bit of limit testing I guess, seeing how low of welfare that I can actually kill QBD in. Cause maybe, you never know. This man over here in American Pernix in Oblivion Scythe, which by the way is a mage weapon homie, could be able to kill it. Kinda just wanna see how cheap a gear I can actually kill one of the hardest bosses in game with. Oh well. Either way, loot from 250 of the QBD is on a route, boys. Either way, good luck on QBD. I hope this helped you out a little bit, and good luck towards your drops. Anyways, guys, I am going to start wrapping up today's video here. Make sure to hop on this server, link down below. We are nowhere near peak times right now with 192 players online. Like I say, Redemption is the biggest custom server out there. Over 5,000 members in our Discord, it is huge. Anyways, make sure to enter for this huge giveaway, and of course to join mining the Redemption Discords by using the links down below. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video, hope it helped out a little bit, and later!